Hey, it looks like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It hasn't been shut off due to budget constraints, and it's not a freight train. Let's give you an update on the house. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. I'm Ben, and we haven't done a house update in a while, but I hope everybody had a uh, wonderful Christmas, and New Year's is just a couple of days away, well, a few days away, but anyway, uh, we have not done a house update, and fortunately, I've got some vacation time, so I am spending the week working on the house. Um, John was over yesterday helping out, and we have... As you can see above me, <clears throat> we have probably 98% of the insulation up and done. I'm going to walk you in here. I'm trying to give you a smooth ride. I know some of my videos get a little choppy with the camera action, but I want to show you. The insulation is up. We're actually standing in the master bedroom right now. Um, a little bit later today, Clifford, our plumber, is going to come over and... We should, one, be able to get the water hooked up to the well now because we have heat in the house. And two, we will get the gas line run. Those are the last two key things we need in order to get drywall in. And in fact, yesterday we called the drywall guy and we are going to talk to him on Thursday, but he said he's about a week out. So what, this is Tuesday, so a week from now we could be getting drywall in. And he said they did a... Uh, 1,400 square foot home in one day. And that is drywall up, tape, plat, you know, tape, mud, texture, the works, in, out, done. One day. Please, that would be nice. Show you above me here. There are, those are the return lines and the AC lines. The, the uh, AC unit, the blower unit is up in, here above the uh, above the porch, so we are going to have to cut a uh, an attic access uh, from above the porch. Not a big deal. Uh, a couple other changes, though, and take you over here. We got a whole house fan. We really, really wanted to do a whole house fan. My sister has one in San Diego, and in like I don't know, ten minutes, she turned that thing on and. Just sucked all the heat out of the house, pulled in all that nice cool air. We just really don't have room for it in here, unfortunately. I'm taking you over to show you. Because of those lines in there, um, the air return lines and the duct work and all that, it's just not going to work out. So, you know, we've got the wiring up there. If we were to later want to get just a smaller unit, I really don't know that we'll need it with the... Uh, the air conditioning setup that we've got might save a little bit of money, but you know, the, the way the wind comes down off this mountain, open the front window, open the back window, vice versa, back window, front window. Anyway, open those up and then uh, just let the breeze blow through. But speaking of windows, that one is still blocked up and, uh, we are having a heck of a time finding the right window. The thing's 48 wide by 42 high. And the last folks we talked to, they said there is a 17-week lead time to even get a window in. So what we might do, and I apologize for the mess. You know, it's a construction zone, and we're still doing our laundry in here, etc. and so forth. There we go. We have the old windows in here. They're not wide enough. But John and I were talking, wow, that sun right in that window. There we go. John and I were talking yesterday. We could put one in, 
basically block up next to it until we can get the right window ordered. Uh, I think we will probably go ahead and do that. Wow, look at that. That is, ooh, sorry, I'm covering you there. It's not going to focus for me. I was going to try to show you. That is the view from our the master bedroom in the morning with the sun coming up in the east there. Sorry, folks. Yeah, it's just washing me out. Let's move out here. All right, there we go. Much better. Much, much better. Um, so wood stove is in, done, works great. Starting to dial in. Uh, it's got these knobs on the front. So you get a good hot fire going before you go to bed. You load it up with logs and then these spin and control the amount of air. So you can, you can, you can tighten that air down to where you're just almost choking out the fire and that way it'll just kind of smolder and burn all night long and keep it nice and warm in here. But with all this insula insulation we're putting in, we're going to be warm anyway. This will just be for show. Not really. There are some cold days coming. Um, we've got about a week worth of rain heading our way. And then we're going to start freezing again. So yesterday was warm. We were talking, uh, what, in the 60s? Uh, Denise was working outside and, and almost had to come in and cool off a little bit just because it was just so hot. But um, let me see. What else have we got? So we got the water getting hooked up today. Hopefully the gas will all get run today. Um, once that is done, then we can turn off, cut out the old copper pipes that are in here that we've had to leave in because we are, like I said, still doing laundry in here. We'll get the laundry moved over. Um, John and I will finish putting the insulation up under the floor where we had to take it out when we were redoing the floor beams and so forth. That has to be done, but... Um, like I said, the rest of the insulation in the in the in the roof and the walls is ninety eight percent done. That's probably another hour's worth of work, and those will, that'll be completely ready. Um, Billy's going to come by and do one last check of electrical because you know obviously once the drywall goes up, it's in without tearing it back out to make changes. So um, cabinets, we uh, there's an online order place. I do not remember the name. We got a sample of the door. Really nice. We really like it. The quality seems really good. Um, we're going to measure around the kitchen and the bathrooms and see what their estimate comes back with. But like I said, we've had estimates for to do kitchen and bathroom uh, cabinets. Lowest was 18000 The highest was $36,000 for cabinets. And we're not asking for anything custom. Very basic shaker type cabinets. So there's got to be other options, but we will keep working on that. And let me see. I think that's really pretty much about it at the moment. I know we really kind of stalled out because of the HVAC folks. You know, they, uh, again, they, they told us it was going to be done, you know, a week or two out. And they put it, basically it set us back a month, which set us getting the drywall in done. And without the heat in the house, uh, we're concerned about putting the plumbing in because once that's in, right now we don't have the uh, the sinks or the uh, uh, faucets. So last year in here, it was so cold when we turned on the water. We turned on the water at night to keep the pipes from freezing and it would drip down. We'd actually have a, a you know five or six inch stalactite of ice in the sink. Uh, we can't do that right now until we get some sinks in, which, you know, which we need cabinets and that whole thing. Um, I know this morning John is going to the uh, hot water heater. You know, we're doing the tankless water heater. That's what we need to get the gas hooked up to. But spinning you around here, we got to get the the exhaust pipe, the uh, the chimney out through the ceiling, and then we also need to get. Oops. This is where the dryer will be, where the ladder is sitting. So we need to cut through the wall uh, for the dryer vent. So I, uh, Clifford's going to bring his tools and we'll get that done as well. But I think you're up to date. We're, uh, we're Like I said, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's getting close, which means the RV is getting tighter and tighter because we're anxious to get out of there and into our, into our home. 
Uh, once the drywall's up, we will move in. We'll do the floors um, as we can and as time permits. But the main thing is we want to get in here and, you know, we're not going to move all of our furniture in because we'll be doing the floors. So things will be moved back and forth a lot. But it would be nice to have our king size mattress back and be out of the RV mattress. Whew. Anyway, all right. Well, um, as always, please be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Have your pets spayed and neutered. I know I'm, I'm on that kick, but, you know, uh, all, all the animals out there are near and dear to my heart. And, and you know, the uh, the Humane Society is, is overrun with, with pets. And, you know, especially now this time of season, this time of year, people get puppies for Christmas and they're all cute and wonderful. And, and I agree, but they don't all find good, loving, kind homes. And so a lot, a lot wind up at the shelter. So... If you can have your have your pets spayed and neutered and adopt, if you have the room, you know I've recently seen some uh, some Instagram posts that it's what what's the saying? It says, uh, "God knew we needed angels to make it through this life, so He sent them in the form of a dog." I wholeheartedly agree. Anyway, all right, everybody, take care. We'll see you on the next video. God bless. Give us a thumbs up. Bye.